Okay, in this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. I'm going to take a look at the integral of sine of the natural log of x dx. To start this problem off with, we are going to uh, do just a regular straight u substitution and we're going to let u be that natural log of x. So I am going to let u equal natural log of x. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so I have a du equal to 1 over x dx. I'm going to go ahead and solve for dx, so I'll multiply both sides by x. x du is equal to dx. Okay, then we're going to come back up and we're going to substitute in this original equation. So I'm going to have the integral of sine and then natural log of x I'm going to replace with u. And then I'm going to replace dx with what it equals, x du. Now at this point, I've got that extra x in there that I don't need. All right, now we're going to use a little trick here that is uh, really common whenever you let u equal the natural log of x. All right, I'm going to take a look at what I've already let u be. And I'm just going to manipulate it and rewrite it. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We'll have u equal natural log of x. All right, now I want to get a value of x. If I take both sides here and raise them with a base of e, like I write it e to the u is equal to e to the natural log of x. All right, that makes this side turn out to be x because that e in the natural log there crosses out. So that's kind of a nice little trick there to come up with a value for x. So e to the u is going to equal x. All right, and I didn't pick anything different than what I'd already had. I just took my what my u was and manipulated that so that I could have a value for x. Okay, so then I'm going to then um, rewrite here, and then we'll have the integral of sine u times replacing x. We'll have an e to the u and then du. Now, if we want, we can clean that up a little bit. Just put the e to the u in front. Not that that's important, but we can. And the integral of e to the u sine u du. Okay, now at this point, I am going to choose to do integration by parts. Okay, but I'm not going to do the long version of it. I'm going to do the shortcut method or the DI method. I'm not going to put a lot of time into it. I'm just going to run through that shortcut method doing that to come up to finish this integral. If you need a lot of help with the DI method, the shortcut for that integration by parts, um, you can click up in um, the little tabs or you can do down in the description and I'll have a link to another video that really goes into a lot of detail on how you would do that method. All right, but uh, coming down here, let's do it down here. Shortcut method means I'm going to have two columns. I'm going to have that derivative column, and I'm going to have that integral column. Okay, and in the derivative column, looking at this, um, I'm going to choose the e to the u to be in my derivative column, and then I'm going to let that sign u be in my integral column. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative and integral repeatedly until I come up with a matching term. Okay, so I'm going to take the derivative and I'll get an e to the u. I'm going to integrate sine u and get a minus cosine u. All right, taking a look at that right there, it does not match yet, so I'm going to do it one more time. I'll take the derivative and I'll have an e to the u. Taking, uh, integrating negative cosine u is going to give me a negative sine u. All right, now at that point right there, I have a matching term. I've got an e to the u and a sine u. I've got an e to the u and a sine u. So that's an indication that I can stop. Okay, now to finish out the shortcut method, um, things you need to know about it, you put uh, plus minus plus alternating signs down the left-hand side. You multiply on the angle, and anything left over here, then you take the integral as you go backwards. Okay, so from that then, I will be able to write out an expression. So we're trying to integrate this right here. So here, let's actually do this. All right, so the integral of e to the u sine u du is going to be equal to what I get when I multiply on the angle here. So it'll be a negative e to the u cosine u. And then a negative times a negative will be plus e to the u sine u, and then the integral 
of what's left multiplying this way. So that's going to be a minus the integral of e to the u sine u du. Okay, now what we're going to look at is right here, I am subtracting this. I've got an equation, so I can keep this balanced by adding this integral to both sides. So I'll actually show that here. So let's add the integral of e to the u sine u du right there, which means they're going to cross out. All right, and then I'm going to add the integral of e to the u sine u du. All right, well, when I add those, I will have 2 on this side. Okay, so that's going to give me 2 times the integral of e to the u sine u du is equal to, and then I can just write what's left over here, negative e to the u cosine u plus e to the u sine u. Okay, now at this point, I'm trying to solve for this integral here. I do not want a 2 out there in front, so I'm going to divide through by 2. Divide everything by 2, so divide by 2 there, divide by 2 there, and divide by 2 there. The 2's here are going to cross out. All right, so then that's going to leave me with, I'm going to pull that 1 half out there. I'll have a negative 1 half e to the u cosine u, plus I'm going to pull the 1 half out again, 1 half e to the u sine u, and at this point I can go ahead and throw in my plus c. All right, now let's <clears throat> do some substituting here back into the equation so that we have it in terms of x. I have an e to the u, which is x, so that can be replaced with an x, so negative one-half x. Cosine u, u is natural log of x, so then I'll have cosine natural log of x plus one-half this e to the u, I can replace with an x, and then sine u, replacing with natural log of x, and then plus c. All right, so a final answer right there. All right, so um, a little u substitution, a little trick on how to manipulate whenever you t let u be natural log of x. And a nice little trick, raise both sides to e, so then you can also have a substitution for x if need be. And then just a real quick run through on that shortcut method for integration by parts. And like I said, I've got um, another video, lots of places that you can get there, lots of links you can get to that other video if you need more um, detailed information on that shortcut method. Definitely thanks for watching, and if the videos are helping, be sure to share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.